Right, hi. Oh, so I'm a bit knackered, had a right nightmare getting down here. Did you have a trouble? Went through these like really tight lanes full of mud and moss, backsliding everywhere. I came on BMW, GS. Was yours com comfy? Yeah, actually, yeah. How many miles have you done in total? Uh, on GS. Hmm. I don't know, I came to Wales from Essex. So oh, you've got no idea. Lot. Probably like 250, yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. So here we are, Yamaha Experience Day. Uh, very kindly letting us loose on it. I mean, I've got no dirt bike experience. I'm pretty crap on the road. <laughs> on off-road, I am going to fall off so many times. Stay away from me. <laughs> God, don't be too close behind me. You've done this before. A lot. I had a lot of experience. Like one day of training and oh, okay. a little bit of riding she's on got a bit of one, two, five. Flipping it. So she's going to beat me at this, isn't she? A little bit. She beat me on the bike again, maintenance. Again, I'm going to beat Cheated at the race. Again. <laughs> so here they are. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I can't carry a microphone on me. So I'm going to do a voiceover afterwards, unless I can fabricate up something later. Oh, wish us luck. <laughs> Ashley's really nervous. He's talking about air ambulances, dodgy cattle grids, really slippery, dodgy bends, shell, ruts, jumps, trees, barbed wire. <laughs> He's put a fear of God into me. I'm really I'm actually quite nervous. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's see how this goes, shall we? He's got the toilet, that's how nervous she is. <laughs> absolutely fine. As I come out of here, I was thinking, oh god, this is going to be slippery. How on earth does a bike stay up? I was getting myself in a bit of a state, believing that it was just not meant to be. And then I come onto this bit, it's all shaly and loose and gravel. Now I was realising what it was all about. People in front of me had uh, already pulled up uh, a bit of a lead, and I was trying to stick to the right, avoiding it. It went off about 40 minutes, uh, but the ride's a bit boring, isn't it? that bit. This was us coming for a little bit of a break. I want to give us further instruction. Oh, there's Dee. Okay. <laughs> we made it in life. Made it. <laughs> oh, dear. It's fun, isn't it? The scenery is amazing. But when we first got on this track with like dirt and everything, it's like... Oh. That, that is a bit of a lot for a beginner, like what's next? But yeah, then I know, so, Jesus thing. Christ, like, really? I, I, th I think like, I prefer to start with easier and yeah, yeah. gradually grow. See how we feel something. in the afternoon if we think we can step up to another level. But that was fine. But it's still scary, the shale, I, the worst think, bit I of think all. It's more fun to like enjoy the lower level than yeah. struggling. Well, I'm hoping to stay there. <laughs> But I'm enjoying it, my tension is definitely disappearing. Yeah. I'm feeling more confident, I'm starting to go along at a faster pace. Yeah. Start, I haven't put my foot down yet, but I'm getting ready, so you know. It's not like putting your knee down, put your foot down. You didn't put your foot down? No, I haven't yet, but I'm getting ready to. I'm trying to get the movements right. As soon as you start speeding up and taking bends tighter, yeah. with a bit of back end, you can put you your foot have down. To, you have to put your elbow out. Yeah, bring your elbows out. And you, like, you push the bike the direction of a corner. I haven't been thinking about that. I just think about making sure I don't fall off. Don't fall off. Once we sit off again, um, my confidence was starting to build a bit. And in these wide tracks, it was fine. Then when you got into these narrow bits, everything became a little bit more focused. And I found that quite a lot more scary because you've just got, just got less room for error. Um, and where I was starting to go wrong, I didn't realise at this point that I was concentrating too much on the ground, I should be looking ahead, because the bike just goes where you point it, simple as that, don't look at the people, don't look at the ground. Right, here we go from, as you can see, the Yamaha Off-Road Experience, is the owner, runs this yeah. fantastic outfit, and it really is an experience. So, first of all, I'd like to know a bit more about how this all start. Well, I went to race for Yamaha in 1991, at the end of my racing career. Oh, right. Um, okay. So I rode for them then for, uh, well, I've been with Yamaha ever since, to be honest with you. But um, I did a lot of training of, you know, riders that go on a regular basis. And this is all off-road? Yes. Yeah. Enduro? Yeah, all enduro type racing, really. And then they suggested maybe that I had some bikes that the general public could have a go. 
And oh. so in 1994, we kicked off the Yamaha off-road experience. Great, yeah, because it is officially sanctioned by Yamaha. Yes, it's, you it know. is, in fact, the Yamaha UK. Okay. Fantastic. Um, and really, we've been running since then, and it's just gradually grown and grown and got a little bit bigger and busy. Look, it's really popular. Yeah. So when, when do you run the, the Cooksies From, these events? Well, the off-road experience really starts usually about the end of March and runs through to about the middle of November, yeah. three to four days a week. Yeah, which is where we are now. And you were saying earlier that um, by the time they watch this video, which is going to be probably late November, early December, that's a great time to think about bookings. It goes up pretty quick, doesn't it? Yeah, very, very, very good. Um, we saw a lot of gift vouchers now coming out for Christmas. A lot of people buy them because they get the dates before we release them to the general public. We do get booked up very quickly. Um, pretty much every day now runs full capacity all year. And within three months next year, it'll probably be full for the whole year. Right. Well, so you've, you've got to move quickly. quickly. It is a fantastic experience. Because it's for everybody with every ability. If you've just got onto motorbikes, this is a great way to enhance your technique, riding skill, learning about body weight, body positions, uh, throttle control, clutch control. You learn it so quickly here, it benefits you more than you'd learn on a road, actually. A bit like doing a track day. Um, so it's all very impressive. I felt I've learned a lot. Default, she'd learned a hell of a lot. And it's for all, it's for all levels. So you could be an experienced uh, off-track, off-road enduro rider. But come down here, because you can go for the advanced group, and some of the scenery and the trials, and I found them devastatingly difficult, so I've got, I'm a novice. Mm. But some of them, where you look down at the black one on the skin, and looking down that, that sharp one, oh my god. I wonder why everybody was one at a time stopping, and then going off. When I got there, I realised why. It, it's incredibly challenging, and it, there are scary moments, but you, without that, you don't, you don't learn, you don't move forward. Well, we, we normally group each day into two, three, maybe four groups, depending on the ability. Yeah. And we're always trying to judge what we think they're capable of doing, you know, and not taking them too far, but just taking them enough to experience, you know, something new. You know? Yeah, I thought yeah. it was really good. All I think the shocking. beauty of, of riding off-road really is that you can play around and experiment more with brakes and, you know, the bike sliding a little bit. Uh, much safer than you can on the road. Absolutely right. That is actually a very good point. You've been up on the speaker of the day. And also, the whole structure of this event was really well organised. I think you guys are very professional for making sure that they're always waiting people, that people go at their own speed. If you want to be slow, that's fine, take it easy. It's not about speed, it's about technique, you're saying. And also, the instructions uh, that your colleague and yourself gave throughout the day, you broke it up into kind of four main components, which I, I did video some of that. Really helpful, really helpful tips about how to stand up, where to put your foot, your, go forward when you're braking, your body position, using the clutch, using different fingers. You just learn so much. It's, it's a really good day out. I just want to really thank you on behalf of myself and Day Man to D um, for this experience. Um, I think everybody needs to do this. I mean, Debbie says every biker needs to do this because you're going to learn so much. If you're on the road, you spend time on the road, you're missing out. I think so, you know, I believe that everyone should learn to ride off road. Absolutely right. Riders, everyone if not do it first, if not do it well, first, it's, it's, get your kids, if you want to you've got kids. Get your kids off road, they'll learn so much so quickly, they'll make them much safer should you ever take up motor bike. Well, you, know, you can have as much of a thrill on an off road bike at 30 mile an hour in the woods that you mm. could on a road bike at 130 <laughs> mile an hour. Nah, this is true. Bike, you know, and this is true. It's a lot safer. You know, we all have a little stuff. You have to keep your wits about I learned, yeah. I learned several things. One of them is not to be, not to be too close to someone in front. That's how it fell off twice. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure you just keep going in a straight line because you're going to go with a bike pointed and look well ahead. But so you learn ahead of a lot of little things. You do, and it's very much about being aware of the terrain and aware of everything that's around you as well. Yeah, I, I tell you, I couldn't do it by myself. I, I think you, like, you have to have a kind of a buddy, like scuba diving. Because, you know, <laughs> I do. If you're decent, you're decent, you do it by yourself, but it's great to come on a course like this organised. The whole point is you're in safe hands. There's always something looking after you. There's always people around you. So uh, just in that in itself is an important feature for me. If I'd just got the bike, if I'd already gone off somewhere, I would have come and stuck. And no one there to pick the bike up. It's happened yeah, to me yeah, twice. Yeah. I have no energy. No, no they your, get, your they colleagues get, are brilliant. They get heavy as the day goes on. Yeah, <laughs> twice. Put the pork at the, the fair head, twice. You had to come and rescue me and pick the bike. Fantastic. Oh, so many thanks again, really appreciate it. Okay. And uh, so get down there, get them off for experience. All the links will be down below and on the screen here. 
you will not regret it. It is money very well spent. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, another thing. <laughs> as soon as you go off on a detour like this, you know you're going to be in trouble. Now, this one's getting particularly narrow. And again, I'm just going far too close to people in front of me with my lack of experience and my trust in myself to apply myself to the back brake, front brake and the clutch properly in uh, moments where I'd need them. So, I mean, by now, it's about an hour and a half of riding out of about four hours in total. I was starting to feel a bit of pain. I was mostly sitting down. I wasn't comfortable standing up, even though that's what you're meant to do, especially as the rough terrain. When you're going on the flatter sort of stuff, you can sit down, take the weight off you. It's not so important. But you know, every time I saw a puddle, it scared me. There's a bit coming up, which freaked me out. Whenever about three or four times on this, on different runs. This is a hill. You can't tell the inclines on this. That's quite a downhill. It's quite uphill. Through the puddle. Through the puddle. Come up here. Turn around the bend. And then it looks. It not a sort of video. Through this puddle. This bit just here. It's like mud, about eight inches deep. And you're determined. You've got to go through an existing track. So if you hit the side wall, you think it's just going to collapse, get clogged, you're going to fall over and look like an idiot. So I was really conscious of that bit. I hated it. Every time it came to it, I was getting panicky. But um, actually, by the last time, I thought, that's fine. Just keep your speed up. Just go through it. So what I was learning as I was going along was, trust the bike. The bike is brilliant. The tyres are brilliant. The suspension's epic. It's built for this sort of terrain. So as you're going along, it's absolutely fine. Just keep the wheels pointing really straight. Don't go silly on the gas or the brakes. And it just goes along. Now this bit was really tough as well. Get to a bit where it goes into a bit of a V, where it's an off V, and the bike's trying to go take it down a narrow rut, and I found that a bit freaky. Um, didn't like that at all either. And that's about this sort of time I had my first accident. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording at that time. This was the bad one that I'm still in pain with now. I was going on pretty much a track like this. Um, the contours took me to the right. I hit the grass. The front wheel span around and lost traction. The back wheel came around and I did a kind of a high side flip. Went up in the air, landed right on my chest. Somehow I didn't hurt the chin. Right on my chest. And even now, um, as I'm talking, it's about a week later, I'm still in pain on my ribs. Look at that for a few guys. Wow, look at that. Come over and then they'll come down and then just did a horrific bit <laughs> going up and down some severe dodgy inclines I'm actually soaked in a water puddle some of it is very technically difficult I mean I really struggled really struggled oh, but it was worth it for this look at that look at that I'm a good time but I'm knackered Okay, had a little break, took a view. Going along here at this point, I was so tired, I remember it well, thinking I really could actually go, right, go home now. <laughs> so the crash is coming up, it's down, pure fatigue. But, you know, come off the road there, you see I'm struggling there. I've just not got the wherewithal now to uh, keep focused on what I'm doing. Anyway, he's coming up in a second. You can see even other riders are struggling. It's a bit brutal. Can you lift up? I'm actually really struggling with fatigue now. Yeah. Don't worry, in a minute we're going to we all meet up and you can have a rest. Oh, yeah, I'm really, really struggling. Well, I keep getting too close to the person behind and I'm looking at him, not the terrain. That's the second time I've done that. You need to get more room, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to hang back. 
Okay. It's fine when I'm by myself. When it's, yeah. Yeah. You just need to give yourself. I'm just worry, not. I'm not. I'm watching him, not the what I'm doing. We'll wait for you. Let's look in. done these sorts of things to us, people watching this are accomplished enduro riders, off-road riders, and they probably look at this and think, well, it's nothing at all, you know, it's not really much in the way of jumps or proper kind of road furniture to get in your way and panic about, but generally, they, they, you know, they're really struggling, just convinced they're going to fall over, my arms are being wrenched out of their sockets, so it's aching all over, uh, at this point, I don't know, and as we meet up here, where the devils went off, and at this point, I thought, no. Ah, I've got to go. Yeah, we're good. Three yeah, times, come on. Yeah, oh nice my God. One. Now one was uh, just in the grass, because someone was, got, I, I, all three of them, because someone was in front of me, you know, and I was too close, yeah. and it cut me up. And somebody so, Yeah, because some people are going quite yeah, slow. Well. Yeah. So my speed's all right, but when there's someone in front of me, I, I, I'm looking at them, not at the terrain. Yeah. And yeah, twice I mean, now it's cut me up. Just yeah, yeah, that's right. Just when you fall down. back, then you're conscious, I don't want to lose them. So, so many times, they've gone around the yeah. corner, I've gone, shit, where they go? <laughs> but yeah, it's too close. Oh, so I've got my fun. Too fun from the last action. Tiring, isn't it? Good fun, though. He's tired, I'm not. Yeah, I've got one rider going back. And me, so I'm, I'm too knackered. It's caused me mistakes. Yeah, short way back. <laughs> okay, we've got two riders going back to the farm. Does anyone else like to go back? Anyone else is okay? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, <laughs> one word, how do, how do you feel? I feel tired, but I've been on the road three words. Saturday. <laughs> yeah, Dee's been travelling around a bit just to get here, obviously, and I'm actually knack, my back's aching, my chest is aching, which I'll get to in a minute, my thumb's aching, which I'll get to in a minute, <laughs> but I must say, straight off the bat, many thanks to Yamaha off road experience for giving this experience, and it really was an experience. Oh, yeah. Was up there. I put them down below. The season opens, I think, from March, March to yeah. this time, which is uh, beginning of November. Yeah. We need to book early because it's incredibly popular and they can book up really quickly. So, uh, let's get the dirty bits out of the way first. <laughs> How many times do you fall over? How many times does your bike hit the ground? Two. Okay, okay, you beat me again. Bullets. <laughs> and I did three. You hit me. And I did try to overtake her. I've got to say, she's so slow. So I tried to overtake her, and she wasn't where she was going. She was looked to her right and came to her to left. Definitely your fault. We kicked handlebars, serves her right. It's not my listen. fault. It's not my fault. I, I was going and I could hear somebody next to me, and I slowed you down. <laughs> exactly. I was taking back of you. I just managed to avoid you. No, you no, no, you shouldn't overtake people if you don't know how. That's what they I say. I didn't know how. You were swerving all right. It's what the fuck's going no, on. I no, I wasn't. Honestly. Shouldn't let me do this, really. I think that's what it comes down to. Oh, I just four words. <laughs> but uh, yeah, completely knackered, but uh, I feel like I've learned such a lot in the four hours that we've been out there riding on these trails. 
I feel like I've learned a bit better throttle control. I've learned uh, shifting positions on the bike a bit better. You see, I haven't had my first track day, as you've seen this. I haven't had my first track day yet, so I've also learned a bit. So I've learned a lot, because this is my first ever off-road. Yeah, or kind of any tutorial whatsoever. Mm. Apart from my advanced course, but it didn't, go, it didn't it's not like that, where you've got to do it or you're going to come off to it. Yeah. So what do, you, what do you feel you've got away from this the most? What do you really take away from this I, I think because it's not, I did a little bit of riding, but this is kind of, it's, it's next level. It's, it's the, because of uh, where we are, we are in Wales and all the hills and all the roads and everything. Hills. I can't but work out this worst going up or down. For us, like, I mean, for me, from Essex, Green Lake, <laughs> to the... Flat then. Woo! What's going on here? It's a fucking mountain. Personally, I, I can't believe how difficult that was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, some of it is really scary. I, I, I mentioned yeah. to earlier about, it's like skiing. It's proper adrenaline, that's for oh. sure. <laughs> some of it is actually terrifying. The first hour we were in, we both were really nervous and our technique was rubbish. We got really tense and therefore we're stiff and we're aching now. But when we did the second part, yeah, we're going a lot faster, a lot smoother, it's turning better. Yeah. Unfortunately, what happened to me, I think I got so tired, I stopped making mistakes and had three, three accidents. I think that's what, what, what happens, but this course I found is good for any level, because we split to the group. Yeah, you, right. can, you can choose what level you want to be. So us beginners, of course, we, we can't go in the fast group, and it wouldn't be fair for fast guys to be yeah, stuck right. with us. So it's very nice of them that they, they make it to every level. Yeah, they don't hustle you along. If you if you, want, you. If you want to be at the back and slow, then you can be at the back and yeah, slow. Exactly. And, they'll, and they'll right. wait for you. They, they're concertinas and it waits yeah. at that yeah. kind of point where you don't go left or right. Yeah. So there's no pressure ever to be fast. It's never about speed. It's all yeah, about exactly. technique, isn't it? Yeah, it is about actually feeling not comfortable. It, it is uncomfortable. Because, uh, yeah, it's not comfortable. It's not like shit. You go through all the stuff. Oh, I'm not back now. Like, Hitting a person in front of you, getting hit by the person at the back of you. She's still bleeding on that. She's top of this next year. <laughs> Flipping it. I've, I've, things I've learned. Keep off the grass. I did that <laughs> twice. You touch the grass, it's all over. And, and, it, and I stopped on the grass once. I couldn't get going. I had one of the folks said, Come get the bike off me, all in the clutching as I got off. And he got on it and he bounced it off the grass. Second thing I've learned is look where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Thirdly, the bike's going to go where the bike pointed. It. it sounds funny, it sounds obvious, but whether, because you're going like this, it's all going to range. If you trust of the bike, the law of dynamics is, if you're going along at some speed, it will just go straight. That's what bikes do. It's us who panic, then take the, off the gas, and then you've got the speed. Yeah. You're going to fall, you're going to lose it. Yeah. And then your steering goes, then you put the gas on, then you're going like that. So just keep the bloody thing going straight. Yeah. I'm sure Which is difficult when you have to stand up. And like the first half of the day, I couldn't reach the controls and you had to hold them. So I couldn't, yeah. like physically, my fingers are too short. So they're just... Yeah, they're not as short as yours, but... Uh, I don't know. They're pretty similar. Oh my God, they've got two hands. Apart from the nails, of course. <laughs> but all in all, that was a... It was an amazing experience. I couldn't twin do it again hands. anytime soon. Have you ever heard of twin hands? Yes, it's just that's the thing. You know, people make their twins a double dance, but also some people go, oh my god, we're hand twins. No, I heard hand twins. You ever heard that? It's not hand twins. It's like the same nose. It's scary. Alright, shall we? So, uh, yeah, so again, yeah, that's great thanks to this Yamaha Road experience. Oh my god, yeah, we, I, like, I would recommend it to, uh, I would actually recommend it to people who has a little bit of off road experience because then you can really, really enjoy the, the roads here. Because like yeah, yeah. for us as the beginning, I, I feel like I want some more experience in a little bit like shitty Essex lanes. So yeah. when I come here, I can properly go for these stony Yeah, because we were held back from yeah. our lack of confidence first Yes, time, exactly, exactly. Which is really kind of makes tight throughout yeah, the game. Yeah, that's why I feel like if I would have a little bit more experience, I would have more fun here. But well, any biker, who's never done this should do it. It's just, you're going to learn so much. Oh my God, like the yeah. about track day. One track day is like a six months of riding. This is the same. 
you learn different things than you might do in a track day. Yeah, but right, you right, so right. Up, up the hill, your, your rear is skidding all over the place and you still control the bike. Yeah, because you start yeah. intuitively kind of leaning forward yeah. or yeah. when you go down here, you kind of put your weight on the back, yeah. you leave that there, then you stand up, use your yeah. body weight. Even way. at the beginning, it seems like sitting down is the most, you know, controlling the, the bike the most. Later you realise that standing you actually can... Uh, yeah, I find actually once I've kind of got the technique a bit better, which took a while, it was actually not as fatiguing as I thought. If I'd started that knowing what I was doing, I could have done it all day. However, yeah. I was so knitted, it was a struggle. Yeah, you can do anything standing up, you can do yeah. sitting down. Yeah. Yeah. Even uh, some bloke showed us, which you'll see on the demo video, that you saw a bit earlier, but this was a bit later, in coming up, the expert going around the track. He was, he was going down tight bend standing up. So he's like 10 times champion of the UK. Yeah, he's like a <laughs> champion, so you know. <laughs> he was good. The difference is ability. Really so he like getting to that level. <laughs> we were so far behind his ability, it was scary. He's got more talent than his big toe out there than we had in our whole body. Oh, no. oh, no. So, uh, yeah, I think, I mean, I think it's good to do this once a year, actually. I mean, I might do it in the I top one. So we'll give him a shout next year. If this is going well, you support us, like, subscribe, and put down here, mention, you just watch the witch bike video, and uh, never know, might be able to word of it, try and get some sort of discount on it. But uh, anyway, <laughs> all the good bits coming up, unless this is afterwards, then I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> from A and from John Boy a bit, Dave Manta, D. And the good, bad, and the bubbly show. No, good, the mad, and the bubbly show. This is us. Good, bad, and the bubbly. Good, bad, and the bubbly. Bubbly, mad, and the bubbly. Yeah. See you later. Bye.